so good We're loving and hating and making scenes Now we just see everything we believe We just see everything Hey, what's up there, everybody? It's your boy, Coach from Gamer. It's traveling a bit. <laughs> it's, it's honestly, it, it's been a fat minute since I've, since I've played this game. But yeah, let's, let's, let's jump into it. I plan on not making these videos too, super long. right back into this series and it really has just been too long I really need to finish this series damage because that's the most OP thing in this game but like, they have no honestly. idea what lies beneath we will learn much from this Aloy that's, that's supposed to mean okay we trusted him See, I know the new um, Assassin's Creed is going to have this kind of like mapping. Oh, wow. The sun ring. Stay off my focus. You'd be lucky if you survived long enough to wind up in that ring. Now we get to see if your attack on their focus network was entirely successful. Huh. Probably is. Success. Welcome oh, wow. to the Citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. In the meantime, circulate. Outlanders! If you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Take the shots, even if it means having a listen of Bahamas. Let's see you got the room. Should pay well. Because everyone needs them. <laughs> By the Morning. glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king. I did have the dishes. The light in shadow. Whose will is light and whose light is law! He really knocked it over. I command Lucian Bahavas. You little shit! A little butthole. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the he sun knocked it over. Down yeah. mercilessly upon the traitor Uthi. Max. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 this. shards. This freaking butthole. Hey, Max. Don't you think? Mm. What a spoiled ass cat. Yeah. You and I need to chat, little hunter. 
The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. We both know you'll kill for hire. Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Well, the Kestrels. Ah, they the want us to see this, boy. It's a short drop from there. Quite an impression. Oh. Shit, how am I gonna get back up? The other side of the tower. Look for a vent. I see you've been here before. Obviously. Hmm. No. It's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. I've shown you the way in, but this humble vent marks a point of no return. Oh Before God. you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. No distractions. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. I won't tolerate whining. Is that clear? I need items. You'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. I didn't ask you along for the ride. Okay, well... <laughs> eh, fuck it. Fuck it. Never mind. Let's go. Nice. Heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Hold for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. Hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Wow. I guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one risking my life down here. <laughs> yes, fine. Now, will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Okay. Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. We found it. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. We got it. Please take a seat and wait for your name to be called. A selection of beverages and snacks are available. A smaller room. Please 
proceed into viewing room one for an important message. What? What was this place? A holographic theater. CD of one data intact. Initiating playback. Oh. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague, if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them, and they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program, and it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. Hmm. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating, waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Interesting. Wow. That explains a lot. Jeez. An emotional bombshell. Makes sense. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. He said it could not be stopped. But it was. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. I've, I've got to keep looking. Find out how she did it. Castrols. They got in. Through the vents. Let nothing stop you from learning the truth. Spread out! If it moves, kill it! What is this place? Two? Hmm. I don't need to try here. Me, 
Max, get off me, cat. Come on. Stay away from my laptop. Come here. Ugh. Max, come here, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yeah, good kitty. CDO2 data intact. Initiating playback. Alright then. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. Or does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? Ooh. This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super-intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. That is actually now, really these cool. These are AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. Yeah, that would be we kind of have to build concept. the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about. Mm. And build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas. To the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stocks. Oh, wow. To rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world. And most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Wow. It's amazing. Yeah.